I am Troy. And I am Elise. And we're Dirt Road Dancing. Today we are going to learn to move the throw and go into a dip, cross body dip. All right, so for you leads, it's very important on your directionals and giving that correct direction for them. Ladies, with this move, it's about the styling throughout the move, especially into the dip. Now together, spatial awareness is vital to this move and being aware of where exactly you are in your spacing. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna demonstrate it first. Go from here. Okay. All right, so for you leads, you see there's a lot of different directions that we're putting her in, and it's really up to us to make sure that we guide her the, the right way. So once we're here for that throw and go, there are two main keys to this. As I throw the hand up, which is, and then I'm gonna pull her directly towards me and rotate that wrist around. Now notice I disconnected there to put, from here I'm gonna reach around, grab her hand. Now I'm not going to pull. I'm gonna give a little bit of a push on the hip and then let her roll out and then step in onto my shoulder, rotate and catch across that crossbody dip. She's on my right side. I'm gonna roll out that one. So ladies, for our part, we want to make sure that we're following that momentum through into the styling of our dip. So as he leads us, the arm's going to come up, he's going to lead us all the way through. We're going to wait until we feel that cue for the dip. So we want to make sure that we're not going to throw ourselves back or jump into his arms. We always want to wait for the feeling. As he brings us across, we're gonna make sure all of that weight to stabilize ourselves is on that right foot, letting it kind of rotate through, but not allowing ourselves to drop fully on. We wanna hold it in our core. Our left hand is placed right on his, uh, right below his shoulder above his bicep. And then our left hand just kind of wrapped around here, but we're not wrapping to pull, we're wrapping to place. Okay, as he brings us across, we're gonna style with that left foot up. You can extend by letting your head drop. All right, as he brings you out, you'll follow through and catch with your right hand. So with both of us, we need to be aware of the spacing between us because there's a lot of momentum coming in and we could crash to each other or worse, end up injuring one or the other person. So from here, when I bring her in, I'm not yanking in, I'm not overstepping. I'm gonna throw and place, still keeping a good distance between us. Ladies, as he does that, I'm just taking a light step in. I'm not fully getting all the way. We shouldn't really be touching. We want space in between our circle. Now from here, as she begins to rotate, I'm going to be aware of her spacing. So as she rotates, my hand comes around, I just raise the hand. If she's shifting away from me, I might have to step forward so that I keep her comfortable, keeping her shoulder in a place where it doesn't get injured. Then from here, I want to swoop, again, being close enough to her that I can rotate in, release, and then keep close and rotate into that hip. So now there should be no space in between. So that's the succinct cue she knows that she will be going into a dip. Ladies, if there is space, that probably means you definitely don't want to start to prep your dip, right? Make sure that you're attached at the hip and then be ready for the dip. All right, from there you go into a single hand move where you're here, you go to any one of our signature six pack moves. If you want to learn more about that, just go to our website, dirtroaddancing.com. All right, look forward to dancing with you again.